So Steph, as a career story coach yourself, we know importance of storytelling, which can be in the resume, as we talked earlier in the LinkedIn about section and in the cover letter. But still, for some people, telling their story is difficult. And we know that during interview times will be, tell me about a time you did this or that. So how can job seekers or newcomers to Canada can uh, Im improve their job, uh, their storytelling technique? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the biggest things that you can do, and you can start doing this now, but that won't help you if you're interviewing this week, but start writing down your accomplishments as, as they happen. So mm -hmm. when you look back on your career, you know, as you're in your job, you're like, hey, that was really cool. The thing I did last week, write that down on like a brag list or an accomplishment list so mm -hmm. that when people... Um, when like, you know, if you're three years down the road and you're like, oh, I'm job seeking again, you don't have to go back to the drawing board and be like, OK, what were all my accomplishments over the past few jobs? But most of us haven't done that. So that's something we can start for the future. But if you're job seeking now and you haven't done that, then you can look back on some of those accomplishments that you um, like really think about those times when you made a difference at work. And if you're struggling to find those stories, um, asking other people that you've worked with, you know, how do you think, you know, how do you think I made an impact at work? You know, asking friends and family, what are some of my top three skills that you think I, I bring to a team that might set mm -hmm. me apart from other people? And then the biggest thing that's going to help you tell your stories is practicing. So yeah. that means not necessarily just practicing with yourself because we're blind to our issues, yeah. right? We sometimes don't always notice the things that we're doing. But practice with somebody, you know, a career coach can be really helpful. Um, a friend or family member can be helpful because when you're interviewing, you don't need the person listening to be an expert in your field. So when you practice your interview answers with someone who's a friend or family and maybe doesn't know a lot about, you know, your specific mm -hmm. industry, yeah. as long as they can follow your stories, they understand what you're saying and it's, it's clear to them, then you're going to do really well in your interview. Yeah. Because often on the hiring team, they're not all experts in the industry. Sometimes there's recruiters who are kind of industry agnostic. They work across a lot of industries. There could be a manager and then there could be like a direct supervisor who is an expert in the field. And so being able to tell your stories in ways that multiple people can understand is a really helpful. Yeah, helpful those are great tips. Sir. Thank you. Uh, what about in the about section on LinkedIn? We, we all we previous video we saw that it's an opportunity to tell your story is there a format you follow like have a hook past present future call for action or do you have any other tips in that area yeah it's typically best like you said to have a hook line a tag line whatever you want to call it something to entice people and get them interested in reading more about you then I typically go into, you know, what, um, you know, a little bit more about who that person is and, you know, what they're about, what they're passionate about, what they can bring to a team. Then a small paragraph about their career, their top like highlights of their career, the things that they like the most about it. And then I usually include one to three bullet points of top career accomplishments mm -hmm. because a lot of times hiring managers aren't going to go down and read into your work experience section. Yeah. Um, so highlighting a few things for them right up front can be a really helpful way for them to easily see it. I think the key is that with the about section is to make sure you include a lot of white space. Yeah. People tend to write in long paragraphs and that's really hard for people to read. Yeah. I'm sure we all know when we see a long paragraph, we're like, oh, I don't want to read yeah. that. So include white space, have just a couple lines per paragraph and just, you know, spread it out a little bit more because you yeah. have the space. Yeah, those are great tips, Steph. Thank you very much. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Steph.